Hey folks, thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, then make sure you share it, click like, click subscribe, click the little bell, comment in the boxes below. Let's get right on with it, shall we? A man heard strange noises in his attic. It led him to find a nightmare. Bob and his wife Linda thought that this was the case with the sounds in their house. However, several years passed and Bob began to suspect that something else was happening. He'd heard of people getting rat infestations in their homes in the area and Bob decided to investigate. He took the stairs up to the attic and opened the door. In the attic, he found a large tunnel had been made in his insulation. But what had done it? He couldn't guess what would have made a tunnel like that. It was obvious it wasn't bees or mice or rats at least. It wasn't what he thought. He peered into the gap and something moved. He finally saw what was causing so much noise in his home. It was a large snake. Bob called Sarasota Animal Control immediately. He hoped that they would be able to help with the newfound problem. Further, he hoped they had the experience and tools to handle this kind of issue. Two officers arrived with catch poles. They went through the house and returned to Bob with bad news. The snake was, in fact, a rather venomous diamondback rattlesnake. Even worse, the snake had worked its way so deep into the walls that they were unable to get it. Time to call in the big guns. You don't expect animal control not to be able to help, but luckily Bob had an alternate plan to work with. His friend, Mark Lampart, typically deals with dangerous animals, including large ones like sharks, which are nothing to sneeze at. Bob decided to call on Mark to help with the situation, and Mark happily agreed to see what he could do. Mark did his own searching. He found a snakeskin that was two feet long, which at least further confirmed the presence of the snake. Mark found out, just as animal control had, that the snake was going to be hard to reach. He peeled away at the layers of insulation until he was able to get his hands in and grab the snake. However, it was not a diamondback rattlesnake. It was even bigger than that and deadly in its own way. It was a Colombian red-tailed boa constrictor. It's not a venomous breed, but true to its name, it can kill you if it's allowed to wrap around you. Mark ran the snake outside and Bob and Linda watched on the sidelines in shock. They asked how a boa constrictor would have gotten into their home at all. Mark explained to them that this type of snake is a tree climber. It could have likely come in through the roof. Bob and Linda won't likely forget this any time soon. It's a good lesson to not take the sounds in your home for granted. Brilliant! I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. If you did, then please share it with your friends. Sharing is caring after all. Click subscribe and then click the little bell that appears so that you get notifications each time we upload a new video. We've got absolutely stacks of this stuff. So if you like these kinds of stories, you're in the right place. Let us hear your comments in the boxes below. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.